why Linux is bad in 2024. First of all, don't get me wrong, we all know that Linux is a, an amazing operating system, but it's bad. Let me explain. So Linux was created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds as a personal project. He made it open source. In the server side, it's the best and it almost runs the whole internet. We are talking today about the desktop side. Why is Linux bad for regular desktop users? The first problem is it's hard to get into Linux because there are unlimited desktop distributions. They all deliver their own way to install packages with package managers and have many differences. The main Linux distributions are Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, and this is already confusing to a new user. The second problem that you get into is getting familiar with the desktop. And there are many different desktops in Linux. So depending on, on which distro you have, you, get, you may get a different experience. The desktops are called desktop environments. There are a lot among them are GNOME, Mate, KDE, Cinnamon, and many others, which is again confusing, but for an experienced user, it offers variety and excitement. This is one of the things that makes Linux a great operating system, also makes it a not so good operating system. Okay, you learn a desktop environment like a GNOME, and you are getting along with your system, and it breaks. Why? Because Linux breaks easily. Since the components of Linux are all updated individually, when you update the system, there can be inconsistencies that breaks this system. Comparing that to Windows, which has an awful updating system, which requires you to restart to update, at least they rarely break your system. A Linux, a wrong move can cost you your life. Uh, I mean your system. More so if you are using a distro that is a rolling distribution, like Arch. If you don't update Arch in a week, it likely will break. Sometimes, I think in Arch, if you click on the wrong thing, it will break. If you blow on, on it too hard, it will break. It's so fragile. Okay, let's assume that you have your Linux distribution with a desktop and you learn it and it's stable and it doesn't break. The fourth problem is you have to use the terminal sometimes. You cannot do everything in the GUI. You will need to get into the terminal which is not a good trait of a modern desktop operating system. For servers, it's the most amazing thing because you can do everything you want, but for regular users, it's bad. Another problem is gaming. When it comes to gaming, gaming on Linux has come so far, but it's just not as good as Windows. Some games will work out of the box, but others will need you to do some things, work to get them to work. Plus games that rely on anti-cheat won't work on Linux. Another problem with Linux is getting some Windows apps to work on Linux, because they are not a Linux app like Photoshop or Adobe Suite. You can't install them on Linux, and more professional apps like that can't be installed. There are alternatives, but if you want them, you can't get them on Linux. So these are some things that make Linux bad operating system for regular users in 2024. But from the other hand, experienced users may 
find it more appealing and amazing since it's open source and customizable to the extent of what you can do everything you can do it's an amazing operating system for advanced users but for regular users they have windows that is more stable reliable and intended for the masses in that case windows is the, is the best operating system nevertheless linux is an amazing computing operating system for those who know what they are doing those who are trying to learn something new are tech savvy and like to delve into software but for the average users that want things just to work on linux that isn't the way so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know if you want to see a video about why is linux good in 2024 thank you subscribe have a good one